Welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another TTM video. We had three come in today, so let's get right to them. We had first one here coming back four of four in eight days, Mr. Steve Rosenberg, here on a 1990 Tops, a 1990 Donruss, a 1990 Upper Deck. And this one is a 1990 Pro Cards. Now, Mr. Rosenberg here pitched for four years in the majors, starting in 1988 with Chicago, and then ended in 1999, or sorry, 1991 with San Diego Padres. He had a 6 and 15 win loss record in 87 games. He had 115 strikeouts and a career ERA of 4.94. Next one here, coming back 4-4 four four in 16 days, Mr. Andy Bennis. And this was coming in via the Brandon Marauders. I'll, I'll put that down there, I'm messing that up, I know. Um, here on a 1991 Tops, a 1993 Leaf, a 1990 Topps uh, Major League debut, and then for the set, a 1991 Fleer. Now Mr. Bennis here pitched for 14 years in the majors, starting in 1989 with the San Diego Padres, and then went on to play for Seattle, St. Louis, Arizona, and then back to St. Louis. Uh, he had 155 wins and 139 losses in 403 games. He had an even 2,000 strikeouts and ended his career with a 3.97 ERA. He was also a 1993 All-Star. And this uh, next one here, I was really excited to get back. Coming back 2 of 2 in 119 days. Mr. Mike Marshall here on a 1990 score and then this one you may have seen come back already signed by Ron Ronick but he has signed it as well his rookie card 1982 tops now I just need to see about sending this off to see to if Sachs to get that completed Mr. Marshall played 11 years in the major starting in 1981 with the Dodgers Played for the Mets, the Red Sox, the Angels, uh, and uh, he had 971 hits, 148 home runs, 530 RBIs, and a career batting average of 270. He was a 1984 All Star, and he won the World Series in 1981 and 1988. Alright, that's all I have for today. As always, like, comment, subscribe, thanks for watching. and thanks for watching.